everybody. Welcome back to Vanessa Montero. Hi, welcome if you're new. Right. So, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, we have a lot of big energy going on in the galaxy right now. If you're into astrology, you should really check it out. Uh, so, since we're in eclipse season, I wanted to do kind of a general reading for all the signs. And I will go through your sign individually afterwards, okay? So I don't know how long this is going to be. I'll try to keep it quick. I tried to do one of these for y'all earlier this week. And you might have noticed. Um, the message was, like, it, I had to delete the live stream I did for y'all earlier with all signs. But um, the message was that they're about to communicate, okay? So I just want you to know that. All right, so that was from a few days ago. Let's check in now. All right, so... I'm just going to get a general message for all signs. And like I said, I'm going to go through each sign individually. If you need to get a hold of me, I do one-on-one -on -one readings. I'm also on um, Keen. And everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. Okay? Let's get it. Like, share, subscribe. So what's the overall theme for my collective, for anybody watching this? This is about how they feel about you, you and them. All right? So it's a general message of what's the energy that's going on right now with you and your person. It's a general message. Free yourself. Okay, so some this this I look at as see there's a unicorn there. Caged. Caged, bound. Alright. Um it says it's time to take back control of your life. So listen, for some of y'all that could mean the person that is gonna be your person is freeing themselves. In order for them to free themselves, you have to free yourself, okay? It's a unicorn. So what are unicorns have? Like, special powers, right? So it's kind of like release your light into the universe. Release your special power, whatever that is. Um, so if you're holding yourself back from something, go do it now. And I say that because it's eclipse season. It's like the, the season of happenstance. So maybe it's like, go do that thing you've always wanted to do. Go, go take that yoga class. Go, um... You know, go go on that vacation that you wanted to go on. Go out and do that thing you wanted to do. You're going to run and smack dab into that person. Okay? All right. So free yourself. What other messages do we have? We have a wealthy man. Some of y'all are coming into wealth. We will meet a wealthy person or someone that is healthy. I look at health as wealth as like health and wealth. Okay? Let's see. I'm going to pull a couple messages from different decks and see what I get and then clarify. And then we'll go on each one. All right, what else do we got for you guys? Music. Ooh, number 32. So that's change. You have 13, which is like death energy. So that's change. Two cards of change, okay? Free yourself. So some y'all really need to free yourself. Music is important. Maybe you'll get messages through music. Maybe some of you perform music. Maybe you listen to music. Like I said, get messages. You can meet someone over music. Go out and listen to music. It's going to be like music to your ears. That's what I'm hearing, music to your ears. So if something is, is, sounds good to be true, it is true. Okay. Let's see. So you're going to get somebody who's healthy, emotionally stable. Maybe you might meet them doing something fun. Get out of the house. Take back control of your life. Yeah, staying in wanted to pop out. So they're saying like too much staying in because I did, that didn't actually come out. All right, so let's get another piece. Let's see what else. What can we, what messages can we get about your person? All right, let's see. One more. Leveling up. Mm, you deserve the best. Major improvement. Doing the inner work and dealing with your past hurts. I'm getting a strong message from my collective. Before I go into each of your individual situations by your sign, I'm getting to free yourself from the past. Okay, you have something big coming in here. Wealthy, music, that just tells me fun and, and emotionally stable. I mean, yes, talking about finances, financially stable. Free yourself, because you're leveling up. Ooh, I like this reading so far. I like it so far. Let's get some more messages for my collective. Let's see what else. How does your person feel about you right now? Dating, some of you will be dating someone. I'm getting a strong message, like, free yourselves from the ties that bind or the things that hold, held you back um, because you're about to be dating someone. Or if you're in a relationship already, like, release yourself from the old drama because you're about to have fun again. You're about to reclaim your youthful spirit and things are about to get... Like, it's like you're heading into a new chapter or phase where things are much, much better, okay? 
Let's see, what else we got here for uh, my collective? Manifest your dreams. Oh, I love this eclipse reading. It says, you're ready to go. There's no time for additional preparations. Take the first steps towards the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. Yeah, because we're in like miracle time, right? Let's get one feeling card, and then we're going to look at everything else. All right, and so tell me the most important thing my collective needs to know. Goodbye, farewell. Yeah, some of y'all need to like, get closure. This is a card of closure, goodbye. It says it literally says closure, finality, and goodbyes. So some of y'all need to free yourself and say bye to the past. I think what I'm getting to is you're going to be saying bye to the past anyway. And some of you, it doesn't have to be a person. It just could be the past way of life, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing that you're entering into whole new chapters. Like everybody's entering into a whole new chapter, okay? So free yourself. You're leveling up. Enjoy. Go out. Listen to music. You're gonna get signs and synchronicities all around you. It's gonna be music to your ears. Start manifesting your dreams. Um, you will be dating someone. Celebrating. Look at that under the moonlight. You already know this, or somebody intuitively knows they want to date you, or take you out, or has intuitive knowing that they want to celebrate something with you. Okay. You have a wealthy man. Someone could be coming into money here. Could be a woman too. Doesn't have to just be a man. Okay. Um. And you deserve the best, okay? And you're getting closure. All right, let's talk about Scorpio. All right, Scorpios, what we got? Mm, let's talk about Scorpios. Somebody's trying to manifest something with you, Scorpio. A magician popped out. A Gemini Virgo. Let's talk about Scorpio's person. Put up a fight, though? I don't know. Let's see. Scorpio, how does Scorpio's person feel about them? Chariot, they're coming straight for you. Could be a cancer. The Emperor's on the chariot, though. So somebody is very serious about you trying to get control of this. They in control of the light and dark side. They made the decision, and they're about to make a move. All right? Knight of Coin. They're going to give you something solid. This is going to progress step by step. I like this combination. This is saying that this, even though this person comes in kind of emotional or kind of ready to go, and kind of clinging, and cancer energy is just like, okay, what do you need me to do? I'm ready to get it going. Let's start it up. Um, I'm here. I'm invested emotionally and everything. But it's also the night of coin. They're going to give you and leave you with something solid when they do come. And they're going to take it step by step. That's good. How does Scorpio's person feel about them? Could be an earth sign. Can't surprise you, Scorpio. Page of Wands. You're going to get an unexpected message, a surprise message, good news, flirtatious message. Somebody could flirt with you unexpectedly. You could be talking to someone new here. They come in fast, coming out of nowhere. Could be someone with money. They're holding a coin. That wealthy man card was here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. King of Swords could be an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. You got a lot of people here now, Scorpio. You got Page of Wands, Knight of Coin, King of Swords. So somebody has the truth. They want to tell you the truth. They've been thinking about this for a long time. They're watching you. Could be watching you online, and they know they want you now. They don't need. They don't need to learn anything else. I'm hearing. They know everything they need to know. How does Scorpio's person feel about them? Give me that person. Ace of Swords, communication. Oh, this is big. You have some new beginning here. Ace of Communication. I'm getting someone new, guys. Someone new. I haven't seen this in your readings a lot. And get this King of Swords. I've been watching you for a while. All right. Um, somebody who's been ha um, hanging in the back is going to now come in with communication and, and a gift. It's going to surprise you. Let's see. You could know who this person is. They Maybe they just held back for a while. How does Scorpio's person feel about them? All right. High Priestess. Reverse. So the challenge is that they're not following their intuition at the moment. Or they're taking, that's probably why they're the Knight of Coin. They're really slow. But I'm getting when they come in, though, they're fast. That's what I'm hearing. So they're slow to come in, but fast when they get there. Ace of Wands are passionate about you. They want to have sex with you. So somebody can't stop thinking about sex. I'm getting sexual positions. They're trying to block it out of their mind. It comes to the most random part of the day. That's what I'm getting. Four of Swords, especially when they're laying down at night, they think about you. They get emotional. So they're getting the courage now. So somebody's getting the courage. They're emotional. You got a lot of signs here. Cancer, Pisces, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. That's what you got. Could be Air Sign. Underneath, Knight of Swords. 
They're getting the courage to come and talk to you and tell you the truth about how they feel about you. Coming out of nowhere, they're rushing in. I'm getting a lot of fast energy here, Scorpio. I'm getting they come in, they give you something. You're like, okay, great, that's nice. They might even come in as a friend, right? And give you something like or offer you if you if you sell goods and services and you have a store they're gonna come buy something okay and they're gonna flirt with you and but this person been watching you and then they're gonna say the truth oh that's how I feel and it's gonna be like verbal diarrhea because they're not gonna hold back and there's gonna be a passionate beginning here and they're right now they can't they've got you on a loop they think about you nonstop how to say it when to say it what to say some of y'all it's someone you know and they want a truce because you have an apology here as well and some of y'all it's more than one, it's two, but we'll leave that for another day, all right? How does Scorpio feel about this person? So how will Scorpio feel about this person? Let's see, Scorpio. How does Scorpio feel? Nine of coins, so you're gonna be, you're very secure, chilling on your, doing your own thing. Nine of wands, holding back from anything that doesn't serve you. You're tired, you're not dealing with anybody's mess. You got your own stuff. You could be healing up after something. King of Rods, but this person is very hot. Okay, I get it. So you're like, no, nah, I'm holding back from all options unless they are for my highest good, period. I'm not even entertaining anybody that's not everything I want. King of Wands, or who's not super aggressive with me, almost like who's not assertive right away. Like, you cannot get my attention. I'm also, like, you're already sizing everyone up or doubting everyone before you see them. So you feel like you doubted this person. And now they're coming to show you, no, 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 I'm not to be doubted. Um, you know? All right. What else? So you might have met this person and you felt like they weren't serious or whatever. And they're like, oh, no, not only are they serious, but you're a king of wands and a queen of wands. What I tell you about that sexual energy in here? Always with you guys. I have just did, like, seven signs and nobody got this highly charged sexual energy like this. So king of wands, queen of wands. So you're like... Scorpio of the tower here so you can be shocked at like how forward this person is um the challenge is five of swords the challenge is to ignore it <laughs> you got the look oh my gosh the high priestess reverse so you're not following your intuition either that's what's a challenge for them is what's supporting you so it's a, it's it's supporting you to not follow your intuition meaning like not not overthink this it's supporting that person to like not overthink it as well and hold themselves back you're mirroring both of you have the high priestess reverse you're mirroring and and you have the tower you're shocked you're shocked you're shocked at like this person they're not the empress this person is beautiful you have the king of rods and the empress that's a very attractive person um and how does scorpio feel about this person nine cups yeah you got three nines here scorpio that's good three nines over your side two aces over here um and two eights over here a lot of synchronicities under it underneath it all queen of cups so you're gonna feel so happy you're gonna feel like okay i've been holding my love back i've been going through all this trauma and out of nowhere the tower so this could happen very soon this is eclipse season reading so this is gonna shock you because you're gonna sh be shocked like here comes your person right here so keep holding out if you have no one hold out because you have the queen of cups here like an empress and the nine and uh and the nine of coin you are the most eligible bachelor bachelorette that has ever existed and if you're just single um you're about to be booed up if you're not single you're about to be married or if you're married this person's about to you're about to be pregnant or something like this or this person's about to buy you a house like i don't know but yeah, Six of Cups, because this is your soulmate. Past life soulmate. Yeah, they're coming in to talk, temperance. To heal things, some of you, or just to compromise with you. Also, they're just guided by angels. That's what I'm getting. They're just guided. They're just coming in, just going with the flow. You're just going to be going with the flow, because you're like, I knew it. I knew my day was going to come. I just didn't know when. All right. So what's about to happen between Scorpio and this person? What's about to happen between Scorpio and this person? Ace of Wands. Yeah, a passionate new beginning. Uh, a page of Coin. So you're going to get a message. Again, a surprise message that you were expecting. And Two of Swords. You're not going to see it coming. Also about travel. Somebody could be inviting you on a surprise trip somewhere. Okay, Scorpio? You're not going to see it coming, but you already knew it. You just weren't trying to acknowledge it. You knew this was about to happen. All right, what's the advice, Scorpio? Helper of thought. This is the page of swords, so somebody's watching you, okay? You got it here a few times, the swords person, so it could be an air sign. Your life is about to start moving 
moving very fast. What I tell you, fast. It's like a lot of fast movement here. You got Eight of Wands, Chariot, you got Knight of Swords. It's all fast, fast, fast. So things are gonna, I'm getting it slow to come in, but once it comes in, hold on to your bridges. It's moving fast. Helper of Thought, your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best you can. You know, will meet or are with some, with a very quick I'm gonna start that again. You know, will meet or are someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. Oof, okay, so that's Scorpio.